A lot of what uh, Kerala has done is, is laudable. There may be question marks on the effectiveness, but I think the overall uh, plan and the fact that it was very proactively announced to try and get cash into the hands of citizens at a time of great distress is something many would welcome. In fact, there have been suggestions to this end as well. For example, the CII, the Confederation of Indian Industry, has suggested direct cash transfers. They have said that there could be direct cash transfers of 5,000 rupees into the accounts of adults earning under 5 lakh rupees a year, cash transfers for 10,000 rupees uh, for those above 60 year, uh, years of age, 20 pro crore people would, uh, could get 10,000 each at a budget of 2 lakh crores, or 40 crore can get 5,000 each at a budget of 2 lakh crores. These are just very broad-based uh, suggestions at a time when there is still no clarity on what the government aims to achieve. Joining us now, Jean Drez, visiting professor at Ranchi University. Um, Dr. Drez, always a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, we, we are in the midst of perhaps the biggest challenge in, in our lives, uh, and it's a battle for our lives. Uh, and, and I'm sure you would applaud the Prime Minister for ordering uh, this lockdown. But there is a huge humanitarian tragedy which is unfolding in, in, in our midst. People unable to go home, people unclear about where they'll earn their next salary, uh, people don't even know, uh, have basic ideas in many cases of where they'll get their next meal. What needs to be done now on a nationwide basis to address some of these issues? Uh, Vishnu, first of all, I don't think that the humanitarian crisis is unfolding. It's right there, right now, for poor people. Uh, just to give you an idea of the level of despair, uh, let me quote something I heard yesterday from a poor woman in Latehar district of Jharkhand, and it really broke my heart. She said, I am willing to go hungry if there is no other way to fight this virus, but how do I explain this to my children? So this is the level of desperation already right now. Uh, this woman's husband and son are both migrant workers. They are marooned thousands of kilometers away. They are themselves desperate. They would like her to send them money if possible. And of course, she has no resources herself. So it's right now. Uh, now, without wasting further time, I would like to suggest a very simple four point uh, plan of action not exhaustive, but things that we can do right away that would bring huge relief to people. Because in Mr. Modi's speech yesterday, what was really missing is a relief plan. And without a relief plan, I don't think that this, that this lockdown with, will serve the purpose. First of all, the food rations under the public distribution system, the PDS, should be perhaps doubled for an initial period of three months bearing in mind that that system is in place, it's ready. There are ration shops in every village almost across the country. And the central government has huge idle food stocks. There have been huge food stocks now for almost 20 years. This is the time to use them. It won't even cost very much. So first of all, double the PDS rations without waiting. Initially for three months, you can do it for another three months after that and you will still have more food than the official buffer stock norms. Number two, similarly, drastically raise the social security pensions and provide advanced pensions, maybe again for an initial three months and then again three months after that. Uh, it would not be very expensive. And again, these pension schemes are in place under the National Social Assistance Program. So it can be done almost at the click of a button. Thirdly, there is a need also, I think, for a larger cash transfer program. Now there, one question, of course, is what should, be you, what should be the target group? And this is not an easy question to resolve. And we don't have time to do surveys and prepare new lists and so on and so forth. My preference, I think, would be to use the list of Narega, uh, National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, job cards, as the starting point, I can give you six arguments in favor of that list, and we can come to that later if there is time. But I think something like that can be the base, and that will cover, along with pensions and the PDS, most poor people. And the fourth point, also very important, is community kitchens and relief camps in urban areas for migrant workers. There are millions of migrant workers who are stranded now across the country. Uh, they have lost their job. Many of them have not been paid, they don't have reserves, and they constitute a huge health hazard. 
not only from the point of view of coronavirus, but from the point of view of health generally. So uh, I think as long as they're unable to go home, they have to be helped. The Delhi government has already taken the initiative in that respect, and it is needed across the country. So all this can be done very quickly, but it can happen only if the central government gives money. And I'm talking of a fair amount of money. We're talking of lakhs of crores of rupees. Uh, that can be done. Uh, the country had a huge windfall this year with the fall in all, all prices, maybe something like four, four lakh crores of, of rupees or something. And the state governments don't have that sort of resources. It has to be done by the central government. The normal rules of fiscal prudence don't apply in a situation like this. We are talking of saving millions of lives. So the string purse, the, sorry, the strings of the purse have to be opened and very quickly. I'm going to repeat a couple of those points uh, because I think they're important points the government needs to look at. Uh, food rations uh, need to be doubled through the existing PDS scheme, at least for three months to start with, and then later we can decide. Use the buffer stocks which are available. Even if we do that, there would still be a buffer available. Raise social security pensions substantially. Larger cash transfers uh, need to be initiated. What is the target group? That still needs to be answered, but it needs to be answered fast. And relief camps across the country for those who are migrant workers, other groups of workers as well who've been separated. Uh, Delhi has right. done that. So a couple of important points. I've got four points. You'd mentioned five, actually. I've, I've missed out one in my head. The starter. This is not a comprehensive plan. There no, are many but I think this that... is a starting plan. And I think the point it's you're mentioning for, is at a time of fiscal prudence, the, this is not the time for that. This is the That's time right. for action, and it needs to be done right. now. I've and got four of those five points of yours. I'll call you back for the fifth point because it, it, it makes a lot of sense. And I do hope, Professor Drez, that somebody is listening to, to what we are discussing. Thanks very much. All this is in yes. addition to the health measures, of course. Yes, of course. Of course. And, and one hopes that, and the Prime Minister spoke about this as well, that a large part of that 15,000 crores which he has put away would go towards ramping up our medical 15, defenses. 15,000 crores is nothing. I think 15,000 crores, Professor Drez, would be more in terms of uh, the immediate acquisition of ventilators, the setting up of right. field care hospitals. Uh, and I think that would perhaps be sorted out through those funds. But it's, it's, it's not a health scheme of any sort. It's dealing with an emergency. Always a pleasure to speak to you, Professor Drez. Thank you very much for being with us.